alambique, the Spanish word for still. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today is a really rare day here in Vicuña because it just rained for the first time in eight months. It's really rare for it to rain here. Usually it's maybe a couple times, like two or three times per year. So everybody here is going crazy, super, super excited. And I just love it when it rains because it makes for dramatic scenery and it makes you think outside of the box and different things that you can do here in Vicuña that uh, are interesting, like, um, like this. And welcome to Aba Pisqueria. This is basically my heaven on earth and it's right outside of Vicuña and it's such a cool and beautiful place. You have all these mountains all around you and you have a lot to learn about the different grapes. Apparently the grapes are different in the Pisco grapes compared to the grapes that you might have in a wine, for example. And those grapes are different than the grapes that you can eat. So we're going to explore that today and check out this uh, beautiful place, this Pisqueria. So the first stage of making a really good Pisco is of course the grape. So this grape is special because it's called a Moscatel grape. And then this grape is then made into a wine. And after that then, that wine goes over, over here. You put that wine into these big tanks right over here. And then once that wine is done being filled up with tons of fire and super, super hot, it rises up into these big pipes right through here and then it goes into the next station on, on the other side. And I wish I could share with you the smell, the delicious smell in this room right now. Oh, it smells so good. But I wasn't expecting that these barrels would be so big. Like how much Pisco do they actually give to the rest of the world? This delicious Pisco. I'm, uh, I'm really curious. Apparently, they make 65,000 bottles of Pisco here at Ava. And it's super interesting to me, especially after the taste testing, which was delicious. It's a free tour, you've gotta come. It's a, it's a perfect rainy day activity. Mm. And after that Pisco tour, of course, you, uh, you're hungry, so a little, little, um, a choriana is, um, is in order. This is ridiculous. How am I ever gonna eat all of this? It looks so good. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. It's just, um, I know there's only a little bit left, but to me it's just too much. delicious food and pisco to the cool local crafts. And it's really interesting because you go around and you see them actually making the crafts here. They're not just from China or another country. Like He's actually showing us how he makes these handcrafted uh, bookmarks, which is just so cool. I love coming to these artisanal areas around Chile. And there are three of them here in Vicuña. It's really, really fun to see all the different colors and meet the different people that are making these incredible things that there's no way I could ever do. So I hope that you enjoyed the video for today and going and checking out different Pisco and seeing the different crafts that they have here in Vicuña. But I cannot wait for the next episode because I get to show you where I'm at right now and I get to take you on a crazy adventure through the entire valley. I'm super pumped for tomorrow but for now, I'm gonna to have to rest up, but check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are right below, and we'll see you guys next time. And from this beautiful place that I'll share with you guys next time, ciao, Pascal.